Jenna's question. Um, next question is, um, I'll just do Lindsay's question, and that is, um, what were my first workouts um, before I got into complicated ones? Um, what are some be beginner workouts um, to jumpstart weight loss and cardio? So, um, I st as I mentioned before, I did have a trainer. Um, I've ha I had a trainer like probably the first, I would say, six months or so. Um, so that was really helpful. But if you don't have um, if you don't have that opportunity, what I would say is go on bodybuilding.com. That's a great resource. That's a lot of the time I always recommend people to go there. You can go on bodybuilding.com and they have, if you click on find a plan, you could literally find a workout plan that's all laid out for you. And it allows you to pick, are you advanced, uh, are you advanced weightlifter, are you a beginner, etc. Um, also, um, um, Nicole Wilkins, she does an online monthly program. I think it's like $9.99 a month. Um, you can look her up. I'll put it in the comments below too. But Nicole Wilkins, she has um, a great website that she does workout programs on. And then also the program that Chris and I actually do a majority of the time if we don't do our own workouts is Joe Donnelly. Um, and you just go on joedonnelly.com and you sign up and it's um, $14.99 a month, and um, he has advanced workouts, but he also, that same day, he at the bottom will have the intermediate um, or beginner's workout, which is really helpful, I think. Like, if you are a beginner, it's very, very easy, like, very basic, so you're in and out of the gym, and it kind of give you gives you an idea of what a workout should feel like. Um, that's a great option, too. So I hope that helps. Um, in regards to cardio, um, I think cardio is great. Obviously, I think it's very important for your cardiovascular um, health. Um, it does, of course, help in fat loss, but I think it should be used as a tool for fat loss. I don't think it should be something that you rely on to lose weight. I think that um, from my personal experience, um, from where I used to be at 15% body fat when I used to be a runner and I used to run 40 to 50 miles a week to now, I prefer my body because I have that toned look, which by the way, there's no such thing as getting toned. When people say that, what you mean is you want to have, you want to build muscle and you want to have muscle. Um, so to me, I prefer to focus on my weight training and I use cardio as an aid or tool to fat loss. Um, I don't focus on cardio. Like, there's not a day that I can remember that I actually go to the gym just to do cardio. Like, I will go to the gym and do weights, and if I don't have time to do cardio, that's fine. Um, so if you are a beginner, beginner um, and this is something Jackie taught me, which I really enjoyed at the time, was circuit training. So you can do five minutes on a cardio machine, get off and do some weights, get back on, do five minutes, get off, do weights. That's very, I really enjoy that. And um, once in a blue moon, I'll still do that. If I know that I'm not going to have time to do my weights and my cardio, I will do a circuit training. Um, I just try to make it like very advanced, like really, really hard on myself. Um, so I hope that helps. I would not personally focus too much on cardio. I would really focus on putting on lean muscle. And remember, the more lean muscle you have, um, the more your body's working at rest and the more you're going to be able to eat, your caloric intake and things like that. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, next question um, is in regards to refeeds. So my refeeds. I do um, one refeed a day, I'm sorry, one refeed a week, not a day, one refeed a week, and usually my refeeds are on Saturday. So what a refeed is, is basically you're um, bumping your calories up to maintenance level, or some people bump it a little bit above maintenance level. Um, and from the research that I've done in the way that I do it with Amber um, is 
we increase my carbs and that really works very well for me because my body is not very carb sensitive um, and I feel like my body uses up carbs a lot better than it does fats or protein. So for me, I prefer to have my calories bumped up to maintenance by using 200 grams extra of carbs. So when I do my refeeds, my refeeds go up to about 2,100 to 2,300 um, calories. Um, and I do that once a week. Um, there are days um, when throughout the week, if I feel hungry, I will do a slight um, refeed where I only increase my carbs by like maybe 10 to 20, depending on how hungry I am. Um, and the reason it refeeds are important are um, because when you're in a caloric deficit, your lipton levels go down. Um, they decrease. And your lipton levels are actually what um, kind of controls your hunger um, and um, your cravings. So, um, sorry, I'm just reading my notes to make sure I explain this right. Um, so it regulates your hunger, your food intake, your energy, and your cravings. So know this. When Say you've been good all week and then Thursday comes around and you're craving all this stuff and you're starving. That sometimes could be that your Lipton levels have dropped so much that your body is like, what the heck are you doing to yourself? So I've noticed that um, my weeks usually start on Sunday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm good. Wednesday, the hunger starts and usually that happens because Monday's Monday's back day Tuesday is leg day back to back biggest body groups I'm using all my stored um, carbs and my glycogen and my all that stuff so um, my glycogen my glucose so um, it's really important to um, listen to your body, but obviously, like, if you're just, oh, I have a cream for chocolate, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that if you're in a caloric deficit, you could try two refeeds a week. I just do one because I'm not in that much of a caloric deficit anymore um, since I'm reverse dieting. So, um, I like to increase my carbs because that's how my body reacts better to. Um, I, my body does really, really well on higher carbs and lower fats. So when I do my refeeds, I, um, my carbs get bumped up to about like 350. Um, so it, and obviously it's going to work differently for everybody. And also what you can do is a cheat day or a cheat meal. Um, I personally have realized that when I, Cheat meals are hard for me because I kind of feel like I have less control and I like having control. So refeeds work a little bit better for me. Um, and what I also like about refeeds is my weight only usually goes up about a pound or two the next day. When I do a cheat meal, my weight sometimes will go up three to four pounds. Not that I really care because I know it's water, but mentally it's still that like, oh my gosh, I just gained three pounds, even though I know really there's no physical way of doing that unless I ate an insane amount of food um, so just something to keep in mind and um, really for reheats I think the best thing to do is really research it and see there's so many ways to do it um, and there's no right or wrong way it's just whatever's gonna work for you